Can you talk about your target you're going after with this film? Yeah. Um, so the digital communication thing is something that millennials and then Gen Z or Zoomers can relate to more than an older audience. And that being the case, there are certain things that are very true of digital communication in the digital age that is becoming very apparent to us, which is especially millennials who kind of remember when there, it wasn't the case, is that we are more connected and yet more disconnected than ever before. One of the most interesting statistics is, for example, uh, dating apps being a thing. People are going on more exploratory dates, chats, like video conferencing than ever before. But the number of in-person dates that people are going on, way down. It, it's actually insane. So it's like you're talking to more people in a rom with you know romantic intention, but you're actually interacting with people less romantically than previous generations. We almost have the illusion of connection now because of the digital age, because of digital communication. That's a huge aspect of this story, you know? She talks to her boyfriend daily via Skype, but she really doesn't know that much about him. There she is. Hmm, honey love. My soul linked to the outside world. The only one permitted to jump the firewall. The one who forgot the chocolate. <laughs> oh, shit. Did I? Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, though, Jerry. Everything's great. I am low on wine, though. Hint, hint. Again? Yeah, well, you know. Tough day. Yeah. Yeah. My last neighbor moved out. Uh, not that we ever talked. I was gonna say, good riddance. Yeah, but I think I'm gonna miss the sounds through the wall, if that makes any sense. Four months. Four short months and you're free, Jailbird. Okay, free to fly to me. And your landlord? He'll be free to tear the place to the ground. Ashes to fucking ashes. What if he turns off the utilities? What if he turns off the water? Then I'll get them turned back on. I make big noise, babe. For you, I'll make the biggest noise! <laughs> ah! <laughs> mm, my knight in shining chat window. At your service. Despite her shortcomings as being a, a criminal, <laughs> She's a, she's a pretty strong character. Can you talk about that as, as sort of a little bit, or if you have any comment about that a little bit? Yeah, I have very specific comments about that. <laughs> because as an actor, you're never supposed to make judgments on a character when you're portraying them, which is impossible when you're also the writer, because you have to have a very clear stance on what they are and what they represent, right? But then when you're acting the character, you have to be just a person experiencing those things and having those motivations, right? Because no one thinks like, I'm a bad guy, I'm gonna be evil, right? That's the, the classic thing is no one's a villain in their own story. When I was writing her, my intent was, I'm gonna write the woman that I'm scared of ever becoming, someone who is so reliant on a man. And, and in her case, she has to be reliant on this man. He's the one connection she has to the outside world. So she's forced into reliance on him. As you know, as Jennifer Zhang, I'm like, I never want to be this person. It's a horrifying prospect to think of someone going really, uh, being a woman who will go really, really far to please a man. That's, that's going to be something that I want to avoid for the rest of my life. And not in like a feminist way, even though that's, you know, there's nothing wrong with being a feminist, but you know, the, the idea of losing your identity is something that anybody of any, any gender can 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 relate to. I think the strength that you're picking up on is like her circumstances are very trying and the, the things that she devises to get herself through really tough existence, there's a lot of strength in that, right? To figure out like where you can derive your own happiness at, as opposed to just kind of being a floaty, floating thing in this like limbo world. Um, there's a lot of strength in that. She has a lot of control. She very much can handle herself. And yet she is is the victim of 
a particular set of circumstances that definitely threatened to weaken her through every aspect of the story.